my beautiful darlings, my wonderful friends, you lovely, lovely little beans. It is Friday. Happy Friday. We just spent about a 30 minute session trying to debug and fix some issues on the live stream. So if you're watching on YouTube, my goodness, just know some troubleshooting successfully recorded. So let's talk a little bit about where we are, what happened yesterday, what we're going to do today, and take a peek at our build. So we are now at the Raya Lucaria Academy, which is right here in Lyernia Lake, or Lyernia Lake, or Lernia Lake. I actually don't know how it's pronounced. I haven't had a character say it to me yet. Yesterday, we actually spent a really long time trying to beat a pair of bosses that don't always show up here in Castle Redmayne. So I went to Redmayne Castle quite early. Basically, I did this starting peninsula here, and then I just curved down and went straight to the castle. That was the order in which I did things. So when we got to here, there's a pair of bosses that show up, two at the same time, and this boss pair apparently doesn't show up if you went in a different order, and if you've completed different quests, which already makes me be like, ooh, is this kind of like in Bloodborne, where there's the area that I recently was given the name of that I can't remember, Yargul? The Silent Hotel, I don't remember what name it is, Yar Yargul, Silent Village, Silent Town, Silent, Silent Yar Yars. <laughs> so the, the two bosses here were incredibly difficult for me, and so I leveraged what I think is the power of this game. I left and I went north and first we had this southern highway map. We then went to a teleporter that was located right here that teleported us straight to the South Raya Lucaria gate. We then got teleported all the way up here to the northern Lyernia Lake shore and decided to journey down this left spoke. And once we did some journeying there, we kind of worked our way back towards this castle. Then we went back here, we beat the bosses here, and it turns out we can't finish the castle yet because we haven't triggered a certain event. We did the tunnel behind the academy, the Academy Crystal Cave, and now we've suc successfully made it here. And I'm gonna be honest, today, I'm gonna be exploring this. We'll see where that takes us next. But in terms of my current build, we're level 59. Oh yeah, that's when one of you is trying to get sexy and the other has a severe back problem. That's when you 59, baby. So, um, oh, I do, do I have my rune arc enabled? Yeah, it looks like I do. Yeah, so all of my stats are five higher, but you can still see that I am largely focused on strength, dexterity, and endurance. I like these a lot. Put a few points in vigor because I was tired of getting one-shotted by things. Now we're going to do it. Now we're going to go in here. And I just got to say, one thing I love that the Souls games have consistently done, which is that they've done uh, really interesting things with post-processing. And post-processing, I mean, like, if you have an image that's in full color, you just make it black and white, you have added a layer of post-processing to it. If you look at uh, Dark Souls when you enter in a new area, it just changes the entire post-processing look. Just the entire post-processing look maybe suddenly making everything much more red and saturated. Then another area is much more green and desaturated. It does these types of effects. And they've cranked that up to 11 here. When you when you go to this Raya Lucaria Academy, down there is the lake that we were just at, right? We were just over these trees, but like you can, you can barely, barely make out a few trees down there. And they just made it way crazy misty. Right? They, they completely changed how the, the draw distances and the fog look. They changed in the sky, adding in this Northern Lights-style look, evocative of magic being thick in the air. And, of course, doing other very straightforward things, like having a much different architecture in this area. So let's, let's head into the Academy and find out what's here. Also, Fire7, gifting us nine subs and then gifting seven subs, one for branding and the other for vanity. I love to see it, Fire 7. And I appreciate you coming back triumphantly after that ban during troubleshooting. I told people not to st stop doing that. Had to give timeouts. Oh, my God. It's the Burger King babies. Oh, 
Ah, uh, whoops. So I, I actually realized there's something that I want to change with my equipment. So I have two great shields. One is the red main great shield. That, again, 61 guard boost is insane. But has 100 physical. And then it's about 50 for everything except fire. We were in areas with fire. And now I think it's time to turn to the Cuckoo Great Shield that has 70 magical negation. And this thing is big. Spherical. Fire 7. I hope you made it. Hope you're all doing all right. Hope you're all doing all right. Phosphorus says, have you ever considered that the audio sync problems are actually between your mouth moving and the sound coming out? I never have, but that certainly sounds reasonable. Oh, these guys. See, I love that with my stamina this high. Oops. I can just hold the shield up and stab away. Let's go ahead and heal. Woo! Look at that magic resistance. Ay, ay, ay. What's my ability? Oh, yeah, this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, this chargey thing. Now, why do I always do this? I, I I don't know. I feel like this is just a condition that occurs to you when you play a lot of games. I also feel that Naganata should have a more slashing type attack in its moveset. I mean, it has a good mixture of stabs and slashes, but I hold my shield open, my, my shield up so much that I wind up doing this. Do I still have medium low? Good. Oh, look at that. Obviously not going to activate it. Because, like, I don't even have that many souls, huh? Do I actually have enough of these great runes? So that's, like, another thousand. That's not enough. Huh, okay. Alright, so, because I am familiar with these games, I'm like, alright. There was another way to go over here. Is this a branch? Or is one of these just kind of like a, a spoke? Somber smithing stones are for what now? Special armaments. So, as a sincere question, what's a special armament? Is that, like, an armament I get from, you know, a great soul? Legendary equipment? Nice. Okay. Jacob Hall says it's a very loosely defined category. Oh, sweet. What? Oh, shit. Why am I shield out? I'm such a cheeser. See, I actually think the way that this game has sort of laid out different types of stones and equipment. That's so cool. Different types of different types of stones and equipment for um upgrading. It's really nice because it kind of allows you Oh, oh, oh my god, I've been hugged. Ah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, this guy sucks out. Let me see if I can crit. Oh shit, I can't. Oh no. So I have a Naganata plus eight, and if I look at my inventory, I only have one Smithing Stone three. I'll need six Smithing Stone threes, and then I have enough Smithing Stone fours to just max out the Naganata. Holy shit, you can really 
get thick stones here, man. So I can't open my map because there's baddies nearby. This area is day and night entering TwitchCon. Indeed. Just suck the magic right out of me. Oh my god, you're right. This is exactly like TwitchCon. Nadoru, happy 114 months in a row. So the blood loss is... Oops. On swing. Oh! You can hug through a shield. I see. Well, I'm gonna do this, because this is hilarious. <laughs> this actually has longer range than I give it credit for. Like, just with this slash. Because here I would think that I can't actually hit him. And I'm correct. Adoru with the with the juicy 114. You love to see it. Nadoro, how are you? How how is everyone doing on this fine Friday? Apologies for being a little tilted during the audio thing. It's just been a plague for me. Oh no. Doris is coming up on that 10-year anniversary. Oh hell yeah. Spellproof dried liver. Hey, this is Dan I human after all? No. That's right. I get as grumpy as the next person. Oh, this is a cute little hidden passage. We go down here, and it turns out it's the entrance to the Tomb of the Giants. Oh, shit. Madden says Friday was pretty average, but Saturday morning has been doing great. Oh my god, yes. Hey, I assume that you're from New Zealand because you said Saturday morning because there's NZ in your name. What's the last boss I cleared? I mean, probably the dragon that was, I guess, right here. Sort of working around. Oh, dude, that's fucking sick. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, I need to go behind this. When they're sort of staggered like that, I can't actually approach. So this is the area that I just... Like, this is where I just was, I believe. Yeah. Pretty res. I basically think that it, there's a near 100% probability that we are going to beat this game on air. Now, the order in which that happens... I mean, I've basically spent two full weeks playing and streaming this game, and it's been fantastic. There's some games that I want to check out next week, namely Tunic on Wednesday is one I've been looking forward to for, like, a year. That reminds me a great deal of, like, Death's Door, um, Hollow Knight, a lot of these sort of indie adventure style games. We were just up there.
Where the hell is that sound coming from? What? What? This game's trying to get me to walk off a cliff. Jason, this is coming back to your... Daily to your Elden Ring playing is a source of comforting regularity and normality, Sean. I really appreciate it. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, Jess 9000. Was this where I just came from? Sure is. Is this actually the inner side of this? Okay. All right, it's pointing me in this direction. That's a big boy, man. Dude, that twinklings. There it is. Oh my god, it was there the whole time. What's tunic? I mean, I would just look up tunic game trailer. And you will you will get right away why I'm into it. I mean, like it, it's it just looks beautiful. Oh shit, I'm not looking. Because I didn't realize that I was matching that. Hey, the Dan Man says, Day 9 has been far too long since they were the last sub. I speak for many when I say thank you dearly for all the laughs and positive vibes you bring us every day. I've recently graduated college since last visiting you, and now I'm working for a great mortgage company, so once again, thanks for everything. Lovely to have you over such a long stretch of time. Truly lovely. Because, you know, a a as long as I've been doing this. Oh shit. And that's a big boy biting me, man. Oh, I thought I rolled in time when I moved this down. Dude, I deal, deal just barely not enough damage. So I actually don't have the backstab thing here, which I actually think is good because at this point in time I'm just not quite strong enough to one-shot guys. Well, not one-shot, but like put them into the um, staggered mode. Like here. See, I, I can do the charge up and it's just not enough. Oh, you can jump? Oh, get out of here. Might actually be good, though, to have it, so I can get some incidental healing from dudes like this. There it is. Pro Gamers Charm Swapping. Dude, I... Part of me is devastated. I was against a boss that took no damage from my spear. I'm talking like four damage or something. I'm talking like no, but figuratively instead. And in the middle of the fight, I switched to a hammer and actually did some damage. Shit was sick. I was torn up that I didn't actually wind up defeating him. Spectral Lance. Might be good with the kind of stuff that I'm getting. Golden Room 4, huh? So, if I go to my Ashes of War... Lion's Claw. Where's the lance? I don't know what the symbol looked like because I was not paying attention. Spectral Lance. Oh, shit. Pearl of Phantasmic Spirit Foes. That sounds fucking sick.
Rangshas just love all the builds and ways to play this game has. Yeah, you know, like, I, I, I have been, <laughs> have been, guys, I've been basically only thinking about Elden Ring. Literally before I went live today, one of my friends called me and she goes, oh my god, we have a PlayStation 5. Ugh. I don't know if I should finish Dark Souls 2 first or whether or not I should just go straight into Elden Ring. I was like, you need to go fucking straight into Elden Ring. And I was talking, talking, talking. We were conversing about how sick Elden Ring is. Then I was like, fuck, I have to go. But I can't talk or think about or play Elden Ring for another 20 minutes because I have to eat. I was so annoyed. I've been thinking about Elden Ring a lot. And uh, th there's this idea that actually didn't originally get stirred in my brain uh, from Elden Ring, but rather was stirred from Magic the Gathering, which is that Magic the Gathering, it doesn't matter if you've played it uh, or not, because I'll be able to communicate the meaning regardless. Magic the Gathering is a card game where you summon creatures and cast spells to deal damage to your opponent. Once you've dealt 20 damage to them, you win the game. You have 20 life. Or health, or whatever the appropriate name is. I've done hosting for Magic the Gathering events, and I always say the words wrong. I think it's actually life, but I always say health, because I'm a StarCraft player. Anyways. In that game, there are a whole lot of... Like, so creatures have damage and health, which the game calls power and toughness. Oh, fucking elevator. I'm gonna fall off that today, man. I can't wait. So, magic has, like, you know, creatures will have power and toughness. And they will cost some amount to, um... Ooh, carry a knight helmet. Carry a knight armor, carry a knight gauntlets, carry a knight greaves. Oh my god. My favorite. So units will have costs, and units will have power and toughness. And right away, because of how the game is designed, small changes in those wind up being a really, really big deal. So you'll have spells that say, destroy a creature that costs two or less. Destroy a creature with power two or less. Destroy all creatures with toughness three or less. Deal three damage. Um, and so suddenly the difference between four toughness and three toughness is huge because the deal three damage spell won't kill you. The kill based on toughness spell won't kill you. But now all of a sudden the spells that say destroy something with power two or less. You could be a two four. You're safe against these other two which are vulnerable to this other one. So... It's more than... Let's see if this is better than our stuff. Slightly worse damage negation, but more poise. And quick question. Is this the average? Or is this... No, this is... I mean, I'm going to do the one that increases my poise, like, 100%. has better resistance versus magical. You know, these Raya Lucario gauntlets actually have better... So this is 3.3, .3, so 0.2 less. I can actually get... I will do the Carrion Knight gauntlets. Higher poise to keep in this. So, it, 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 it is... Oh, you're right. I was looking at the wrong one. Dude, knight armor is just fucking rad. I was literally looking at the wrong armor, but guess what? I want this knight armor, man. Oops. I don't know. Wait, I, I bought this, didn't I? I bought this way long ago, and it has the... Oh, shit. Well, whatever. I have more poise. It's fine. For the sake of fashion, though, we're going to wear the Carrion Knight armor. We're going to wear the Carrion Knight gauntlets, and we're going to wear the Carrion Knight Greaves. Right? Why not? Fashion souls, baby. Look how sick I look, huh? I don't think anything's going to be better than this imp head. Dude, literally, look at how much... Like, this... Dude, this imp head is where it's at. God, this thing is fucking sick. 
I need to go look in more dungeons, because that seems to be where some sick equipment is. But the, um... Nice. The Magic the Gathering is set up in such a, such a way that there's tons of spells and tons of abilities and tons of qualities that creatures can have, that spells can have, that make it so that three versus four is a big deal. Three versus two is a big deal. Small changes are big deals. And I think that that's important to call out. I think it's important to call out because it's false that what makes a lot of magic interesting is that there's so many different cards, right? I want to stress that my point is not that magic has lots and lots and lots of different cards, but rather the entire game is set up on the idea of that sensitivity to small number changes. Now, I referenced small number changes, but there's also small quality changes that the game also makes matter a great deal. Like, for instance, units that have flying can only be blocked by units that have flying because they fly over them. So I think that there, I've explored everything except this entrance here. I think I have, I think I have, I think I have. And you'll have spells that say destroy all non-flying units. Deal seven damage to all flying units. Again, small changes matter a great deal. Now, why the hell am I talking about this with regards to this game? By the way, I'm tired of looking fashionable. I want really big poise, man. Are you kidding me? My poise is 30? Get out of here. Let's get the knight armor. I think the carrion gauntlets... I actually like the... Where are these gauntlets and grieve-wise? I'm gonna either use the Raya Lucaria. This is more well-rounded, so I'll just do the Godric Soldier Greaves. Hell yeah. So why the hell am I talking about these things? Well, this game makes horizontal slashes versus vertical slashes versus thrusts matter in big ways. Where this rarely will hit walls, but if I'm in tight corners and I try to do a swing like this horizontally, it'll, it'll bump. Also, this game makes the difference between a 1 second delay, a 1.2, a 1.4, a 1.6, all really matter because some enemies have a 1 second gap or a 1.2 or 1.4, 1.6 second gap in their, in their swings. So all these different patterns, therefore, matter. And on top of the fact that each of these things matters in a big way, this, I think, is the secret and key ingredient to making all these different styles feel viable. Because you are changing with respect to these axes that matter, if that makes sense. For instance, if all enemies ran straight at you, the difference between a vertical slash, a stab, or a horizontal slash, it wouldn't matter. If all the enemies lined up and ran straight at you, you'd always be dealing damage to the ones in the middle. It wouldn't matter. If there was only one type of damage, you would go for whatever number was biggest. What do we have here? Who's this? Oh, this guy. I know you. Watch this, he's gonna bleed in a second here. I'm gonna bleed in a second here. Gotcha.
Stabby. 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 Oh shit, I have gravity well now? Fuck yeah. And I, th I think that that's one of the real brilliancies of this game, is it created such sensitivity. Like, if you recall, I, for a while, was struggling with these two bosses. Down, all the way down here. And what I found is that this spear swung ever so slightly slower than my sword. And as it turned out, the knight had just enough time between a swing and a tail swipe that I could hit with the short sword, but I couldn't hit with the spear. Which meant switching to a completely different weapon allowed me to win the fight. Which means my decisions matter. I can't count the number of games. Where the difference between a sword and a spear and an axe and a cestus and a flail and... Oh, shit. This thing tips over? Fuck. Oh, shit. Am I fucking dead? Alright, so... This is gonna rotate in a sec. I was expecting it not to rotate. Has there been anything over here? Alright, I, I don't know where we are. But that fucking thing was about to rotate. I think we're just around the corner, huh? I see some things to the right, but I just want to make sure I know where we are. I think we are... Yeah, I have no idea where the fuck we are. Sick. Yeah, I mean, there's so many games that I've played where it's just like the different move sets are just like, it's like whatever, you know, because enemies basically can't stagger you. You're generally just trying to avoid them. So as long as you just hit the dodge button in your game, it doesn't matter what kind of weapon you have. This game makes all of that matter. Holy shit. What the fuck is happening? Okay. About, a lot about this idea of sensitivity in a game. Because, I mean, I I, I swear, there's, there's kind of this, like, joke that was existing in uh, Standard Magic recently, where there was a bunch of black two-mana spells that would be like, uh, give target creature minus two, minus two. Destroy a creature um, without any counters on it. Destroy a non-legendary creature. Destroy target non-angel, non-dragon creature. Destroy creature with cost three or less. You know, it, it was like so many different spells. And like all of them were basically two mana kill a creature spells. But I mean like you, you, you had to spend so freaking long just studying the meta to understand which one was the right one to use. They were, and then again, they were all two mana. They're all like one and a black mana to cast. But it felt like a really significant decision because the game made it a really significant decision. And I don't know, I, I, I've just wound up playing a lot of games where I just basically stick to one thing whenever I change. It just feels like it's the same game and all this. And so I've just been thinking a lot with regards to magic. I especially played a bunch of card games where this was the case. But magic especially was one of those games where, gosh, any small change to any quality of each card made it feel like a really different card. I where the fuck this thing is. Alright, so... 
assume this is where... Is this where I got on before? Yep, this is where I got on before. Game knows all too well how fun it is to explore. Ah, I see, and this connects over to here. Great. Because, I mean, I've seen other games that have tried to go, ooh, Dark Souls is such an amazing game. Let's make something that's Souls-like. And they kind of make some combat that has the right pace. Um, but then they don't make the rest of the components matter. I don't know, just, just a thought that I've been mulling over while endlessly thinking about this. So let's go up first. So where is this? Man, this map is fucking useless. But damn man, it says, have you headed back to that crystalline palace that you were at beforehand? We have not yet, but it's always been on my mind. It's right here. That's where we were teleported to. Into the Celia Crystal Tunnel. We should be about strong enough to get through that. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to return to this. There's a dragon here. I want to clear out this area. And then I want to move down this way. That is fucking enticing. Best did you always try to full clear areas like this? I've only, uh, I have been, and I'm only just finishing Lunaria. What's uh, Lunaria? I mean Lyernia? 120 hours? Yeah, no, I, I would not be surprised if this is. This winds up being just like a 150 hour game for me. Because, I mean, I, I, I play through these games pretty slowly as is. I mean, I'm, like, a really powerful gamer, so it's, like, not a big deal for me to just, like, rush through areas, like, at an incredible pace that kind of, like, shakes the bones of my enemies. But let's be real, I'm, I'm pretty slow at least. I haven't even been using my horse. t poses. what's generally your favorite type of build? Poise, poise, poise. Endurance, thickness, hugeness. I want to be absolutely imperturbable when I'm in a fight. Go ahead and touch this. What does poise actually do? I'll explain in a quick second. We gotta level up something. A weapon is currently doing crazy deck scaling, so I'm enjoying doing that. But the idea of poise is that, like, Sometimes when you hit an enemy, they'll go like, Ugh, uh, or like, I don't need to make the character do it. I can do it. You know, like, I'll be getting ready to swing and hit a character, and then it'll hit me and I'll go, Ugh, and I'll get interrupted. If you have good poise, that doesn't happen. So in Dark Souls 1, I got Havel's armor, and I cranked up the shit out of my poise. So, I mean, I was just getting smashed. And my, and my character was just standing there. You know how, like, sometimes you'll go to drink from your flask and you'll be like, oh, like, staggered mid-swig and you won't actually get the healy dealies? If your poise is high enough, man, I was just, like, chugging and getting hit and chugging and getting hit. Magnolia says, what stats should I focus on if I want to build like yours but with some magic? Uh, so I, I, I'm not a good person to speak to about builds, to be honest. Um, but if you wanted to be like me, my understanding is that strength plus arcane, or excuse me, um, no, strength and faith work well together. Because there's a lot of, like, buff your power and then get into the fight. There's a very paladin-esque quality to this. And um, I've also heard of dex int players. One of my good friends is a dex int player. And actually, now that I think of it, if I, if I do this and I say to myself, let's memorize a spell, I think I actually have enough... To memorize this. Raises physical and fire affinity attack power. I don't have enough faith for this. 
I have enough for this. Now, there's a kind of funny thing. Like, I actually don't know how to cast spells in this game. So, I need... So I need, what is it called? It's a catalyst to be able to cast this? So we look at ones, and uh, how, how, how can you tell? Catalyst for incantations, staff for sorceries. Yeah, where, where is the catalyst? Sacred Seal for Incantation? Where is that? God Slayer Seal. Nice. 27 Faith. So then I would take this out, and then I can, like... Sick, man. Alright, I gotta raise my faith. Let's unequip this. Oh my god, sick. Oh, he's using magic. He's so fucking sick. And I think that... Oops. I think one of the strengths of this game is that you can mess around. Yeah, bow bag. I might come back to some of the specifics. Of when I can get various seals and why. Let the record show that you can often just wiggly worm your way around things instead of rolling. I'm a habitual roller. Inspectus. So, okay. I got slightly distracted during that whole thing. Just want to make sure that my orientation is correct here. Because if I come out here... There is an item over there that I'm curious about. So... Summoning poo is now functional. Yeah, you know, Valphalos 93, I, let's, let's just make a declaration that <clears throat> we're going to begin to try to work our way. One of these is false, probably. Yeah. Well, not exactly what I wanted. I still think pretty good. Yeah, how, how sick am I? How sick am I? Fuck am I? Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, what? What am I missing here? My orientation is totally fucked right now. Ha 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 Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck me! Olivinus Glintstone Crown. Fuck yeah. Increases your intelligence by three. Sick. 
to the detriment of HP. <laughs> Sorry. Thick head gamer. That was close. That was close to becoming content right there. So, also in our inventory, we have... God, I really need smithing stone threes here, huh? <laughs> Cyborg Sphinx is the comedic genius of how sick am I, followed by... Oh, shit. That's how we do it. Stone Craftsman Cookbook number five. What do our new spells do? Dude, one of them does the most pathetic expulsion of flame of all time. The other increases my resistance to holy damage. the warrior jar. It's fucking gruesome. Oh my god. It's just literally a jar of meat. Look at the magic resistance of the shield. I feel so clever. I mean, I think that these warrior jars are like beings that were liquefied and dumped into a jar that was then animated. Okay, I'll do that in a second. Because this game has consistently shown me that when there's a door, sometimes you open it and you're just in a boss fight. Ritual pop. Ritual pot used for crafting. Gonna be some good stuff that we can do with that. Maybe later. Well, I guess I will. Very well. Nice. I love this Naganata so much. Ow, fuck. Dude, if that's how the warrior jars work, where it's actually like formerly a person that then gets blended into an animate jar. That'd be so sick. Dude, this, 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 oh, this talisman is just so sick. Furl Calling Finger Remedy. Hey, have we died yet today? I think we've not. 
Unless we died in a way that was really stupid. It was comedic and excellent. But I think I've been alive. The talisman is the Assassin's Crimson Dagger. Crits restore. of art assets. I'm thirsty. I gotta get some water in a sec. But also, we're in the middle of a game. Well, ain't this some shit here, huh? This might be our first Souls-like experience. I'm going to do this. Just to make sure. There's no hidden extra paths that would make our lives alarmingly easier. All right, let's let's get some water. We'll be right back. Yeah, let's get two cups of water. I'm so thirsty. Hello, fellow warrior jars. Ah, oh, Kiwi Coder says, last month of sub before politics issues prevent next payment. I very much enjoy your stream starting from early SC2 stuff. Funday Mondays are the best day nine. Kiwi Coder, I am terribly sorry to hear about whatever woes that you're referring to. Uh, feel no guilt or no pain at all about not being able to Resub. We're greatly appreciative of the support that you provided the community for so long. And to be honest, I'm going to say the thing that's, you know, we've mentioned before, but always is reasonable to say. There is a lot of financial pressure on a lot of people. Pandemic, inflation. I mean, we can just, we can start listing stuff off, but to be entirely plain, if you are feeling a little tight on cash, I think canceling subscriptions is a really, really reasonable thing to do. My feelings won't be hurt at all. I fully support the decision to do that if it so makes you have an easier time in the day to day. <laughs> Bleach is black as gas is insane right now. I was $6 a gallon at the gas station last night. Jesus, it was so much. Um,. Like, literally six. It was like 587 per gallon. So yeah, of course, of course, you should take the time to make sure that you're taking care of yourself first. Yeah, Kill Pacos is one gallon of gas or a sub to Sean. I know, right? Uh, reason police is not being entirely serious, but it's funny you say that about subs, but then your chat is in sub-only mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the, the believe me, sub-only mode is in no way a financially motivated decision. It's a way to be more proactive about locking out certain spams and, you know, certain types of garbage chatter. And it has plenty of downsides to it, but... Red Wolf of Radagon. I think we're over leveled for this fight. Oh, 
second swing. Dude, this guy keeps his distance. Oh, camera souls. Got him. Emery Stone. Hey. And while that was going on, my god, Kiwi Cutter gifted us 10 subs. That's very sweet of you, Kiwi. We greatly appreciate that, as much as we appreciate one-shotting this dog. But once again, I want to stress, if any of you are ever having any financial hardship, cutting subs is a very sensible thing to do. Very sensible, very wise. In fact, a lot of the value that any broadcaster frets about the most is less sub counts and more viewership. So, I mean, if you're enjoying yourself, come join on in. We 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 have no other way to spend channel points than to redeem messages. That's literally it. So, like, if any of you... You know what? Any non-subs, feel free to just drop a message, man. <laughs> just come on and say, hey. Hey, Dr. Phil 56 87 Gives a one gun booth. Damn, my dice says you don't look away during the ads. You have to watch them. No, no, no. You, you can absolutely tune out the ads. That's totally fine. IG Press Mansum says, Poopy. That's very good. That's a high quality one. Yeah, look. There you all are. Hi, darlings. So, uh, we're actually quite, quite a fan of the... Oh, my God. We're on the eastern side. Fuck yeah. We're actually quite a big fan of... Oh, shit. The combo of sub mode slash redeeming channel points for messaging. Like, for instance, Colt Dracon is a super duper regular here and constantly uses the redeem message. Svetogo says, I'm just lurking. Have a great time. Hey, you know I will. So this combination is nice, because if there's a bot that's, like, trying to spam scams for people, which is a big issue a little bit ago, holy shit. It's rare that a bot is going to sit here long enough and then redeem channel points and then not get timed out, you know. So this is, was this the room that I just fought in? I think it is. Kill Paco, gift in five. Hey, happy Friday to you, Kill Paco. God, this game is the best. This game is the best. So there's already a substantial amount of things that I've not explored in the underbelly areas. Kill Paco, happy Friday to you. Senior GG says, I think I've said it before, but Sean, you saved my life more than once. Thank you. Oh. Mwah. We, I am so happy to Provide a place of comfort and support for people having a tough time. So happy to do that. Because, dude, <laughs> if I'm being real, dude, the myth of the self made man. Can we talk about this for a moment? Holy shit. At least 50% of my life minimum has been heavily relying on the love and support of other people. <laughs> has been getting love and support, frankly, through like YouTube content creators, through streams. Particularly tumultuous time in my life, I read the Dresden Files. And that fiction felt like a form of love and support for me. Radagon, Icon. What 
kind of thing is a Radagon icon? Shorten spellcasting time. Get the fuck out of here. AKA Lucky Eyes is man. Scam bots on Discord is becoming a pain in the ass. Ain't that the truth. So these are... Dude, this talisman with this ability is so good. It gives a small quality of life thing. When you pick up an item, the pop-up window with the name, it also shows you what type of inventory item it is. Yeah, I did see that, but I don't have a clue which symbol means which thing. <laughs> it's written in a language that you don't know how to read, Sean. Yeah, it's great. All right, Ghosty. This, this should be good right now, Ghosty. Should be good right now. Thanks, Ghosty. So these, these two places should connect together. So this downstairs... Oh, shit. Baby warrior jars. Shit. Damn, I get the new armor. I bought it a long time ago, actually, near the very beginning of the game. And forgot that I did. And I didn't look at the stats properly. Hey. Isn't it just disturbing knowing that you're I'm basically cutting up jar babies? Doesn't that just get you? Eisenkrutza says, hey, Sean, I just want to tell you how much I appreciate uh, when you talk about stress, anxiety, and mental health. As someone who struggles with mental health issues, it's heartwarming to hear you speak openly about it and offer your perspectives. Love from a long-term Norwegian fan. I'm glad it's... I'm really, really glad. You know, the, the number of times where, like... <laughs> like... Ooh, another crack bomb. That would be useful. The number of times where, like, you know, for instance... Um, raise your hand if this has happened to you. Let's get a show of hands. How many of you have ever felt to yourself, oh, wait, 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 I think this is connecting differently than how I thought. This is actually terrific. This is a different area than I thought we were in. How many of you have ever been having a pretty good day, had a huge spike of stress and anxiety, and then you were fine? Like, from a physiological perspective. I mean, outside of the generalized alarm... But you have, like, a little thing right there. I get that. I get that feeling where I'm just like, Oh, God, oh, oh, whew. oh. Oh, okay, we're good now, we're good now, we're good now. Dude, when that first started happening to me, I was like, oh, my God. What is wrong with me? Why, why am I a broken person? And now I'm like, oh. All right, I just probably am a little overstressed. All right, and then, and then I'm like, okay. <laughs> the amount of like self-judgment I'd have, I'd be like, oh my god. But what if I'm not perfect all the time? What if I cut up crab babies because they give me a little bit of souls? And then it's just like when you start not catastrophizing, and when you when you when you stop. Applying so much judgment, you realize like how actually like okay, it's like I mean it's not ideal. I don't want to be spending time having anxiety spikies. It's not good. But it's all right. It's okay. Again, not a good thing, not a positive thing, but it's okay. Oh, this little fuck face. Oh, looks like someone else hates crabs here. Dude, 
Dude, they designed this to kill the crabs. I literally don't have the range to hit this. Oh, that fucking thing. We might be dead here. I actually completely forgot to sit down and heal. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Whoopsie dipsy. Into the healing chamber. Yes, thank you. Gets spoiled and he's miserable forever. Untoxic Murder says, There are bosses command to see which bosses have been beaten. Well, the good news for you is we don't have a boss command. We have a boss person by the name of Elrond. And what's the next level up? 21, 480, 470. Okay. How much do these guys give? 82. You know, I, I'm just going to go on a quick run, pick off these guys, go level up once. This gives any at all. Oh, you're, you're alive. Oh no, the jar babies! Bad jar, baby. Alright. Dude, I still feel like I have not explored the underbelly of Raya Lucaria. Like the... Little spinner. The spinneret. I want to re re go re-explore. Level up. So, we want to we wanna, we wanna get more faith. You know what? I'm going to... Use an item. I'm gonna use a rune arc. So for any of you that don't know this, there's what's called a great rune, which is this thing. And you have to spend a rune arc to activate the great rune. And once you've activated it, it gives you the great rune bonus until you're dead. So I, I I'm feeling like I'm gonna live. Who's ready for the diving attack? Where is he? Uh-oh. Jumping stab! Jumping stab! Jumping stab! Also, too, we met a faith, baby. Cold Con says, how would you rate Elden Ring? Hey, welcome back to the subland. How would you rate Elden Ring's far compared to the rest of the Soulsborne series? I'm hesitant to call it my favorite, but it's really good. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm going to wait until I get close to the end. And or done. Because my, my one is Dark Souls 1, my two is Bloodborne. Bloodborne. 
glint stone weapon. And I gotta be honest, I, I I think I think my third is actually Demon Souls because it's fucking insane. I actually think that Demon Souls is perfect to play if you play this first, play through the Dark Souls games second, then play through the um, then play through Bloodborne and then. Then I think you should play Demon Souls on the PS5. Because I, I think, like, fuck, man. Like, Demon Souls is, like, th the most extreme. It, it Like, <laughs> in short, in terms of distillation, it literally goes in order of release. Where, like, Demon Souls is the most extreme. Dark Souls is very... Pre Ugh. Demon Souls is the most extreme. Dark Souls 1 is the next most extreme, but it's probably the best executed. Dark Souls 2 is a more streamlined, more refined one. Dark Souls 3 is extremely more refined. And Elden Ring is the most refined of all. So if you start playing them in, like, fucking reverse order, <laughs> you go back to Elden Ring, uh, or, or go back to Demon Souls, you'll be like, holy fucking shit! Bloodborne is right next to Dark Souls 3 in terms of refinement in my eyes. Ubernaut says, would you like an unspoken tip about grab attacks? Uh, you know what? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. What up, fuckface? Spamming buttons like RT, LT, and face buttons can help you get out of grabs early. Oh, I didn't know that. That's great. Oh, how's that for getting out of it early, huh? How's that for getting out of it early, huh? How's that for getting out of it early? Pure genius. Oh, hell yeah. Piratos the Great gifted us plenty, 20. Ow, fuck. Piratos, happy Friday. Happy Friday. I think the plan here is to briefly clear out this square, and then very clearly we have to transition over to here. Oh. Superflux says, hey, Sean, any advice for exam anxiety? Got a three-hour three AWS exam next Friday with a five-figure raise riding on it. You know, when it comes to that sort of anxiety, that's a hard one to just turn off, right? Don't be anxious. It's going to be fine. All right, great. Well, I'm still anxious. Oh, my gosh. Superflux says, your body's trying to help you out by giving you all that stress. It's trying to flood you with adrenaline. So that way you can get the focus you need. So you know what? I think that you should start to think of 
how do I get comfortable with this uncomfortable emotion? How do I get comfortable with this uncomfortable emotion? If you feel anxious while you're taking an exam, it's okay to feel anxious. What's stressful is when you start to feel anxious and you start to think, oh my god, what's wrong with me? Oh my god, what if I'm unable to become not anxious? And the fact of the matter is, if you completely shit the bed on this exam and you get a 0%, they're like, what's a computer? And you're like, it's a type of dog. Like, you really fucked this one up. It's all right, because guess what? If we're in the real world, not if we're doing some exam that's an entry to something where there's only there's only one shot. There's only going to be one championship this year, and then you're out of high school. You know, there's just, you just take it again later. I literally know someone that failed a certification exam like three or four times. And then on like the sixth time they got it, and everything's great. So, dude, just, just, just enjoy that feeling of intensity. Embrace that feeling of intensity. Man, you're going to do great. And you know what? Don't put off thinking about the exam or studying for the exam. Avoidance is a real problem, right? Because if you start avoiding and 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 avoiding, then all of a sudden you're just like, ah! Culture Cons, I'd like to take this opportunity to recommend a book I've recommended before on anxiety panic attacks. The Panic Switch, a scientist and former sufferer's method for instantly stopping panic without medication by Jeffrey L. Hams. It literally fixed my panic disorder, so I highly recommend it to anyone having anxiety issues. It's excellent. Oh, that's an interesting one. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the tab over here. There it is. Perfect. Paperback for 16 bucks? Might just well do it. But yo, happy Friday to you, Piratos the Great. What brings out such great generosity in you this fine Friday? Outside of the fact that we still haven't died. Wadlington J. <laughs> Oh man, I was gifted a sub. I can finally update and I read my message. I've been a wallpaper super fan for like 15 years. SC days were amazing. I'm loving the Elden Ring run. Thank you for everything you've done for the gaming community. You inspire plenty. Oh my god, Wadlington, you're so sweet. Oh fuck, Wadlington, it's a crap. Wadlington. Oh, Wadlington. Thought I was for Grace is just feeling good and being like, oh wait, I can hit these buttons to get out early. No, I can't. Stab the crab. Crabby crab crab. You saw that I just ran over and looked at chat. I was like, oh, I'm lifted. You know, I got a few seconds now. We're going to explore this area for a moment. If we start seeing some progress that can be made over here, we're going to peel back around. Oh, that is a crazy request. Is there a JPEG of the background from your old YouTube videos? Uh, uh, you'll have to be more specific. You mean of, like, of my old room? Yeah, yeah, I, I have a screenshot of the old room. In fact, I used to green screen myself into that old room. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Did I kill all the little digging friends? The rummagers? So this is just something that I think is like a hallmark of FromSoft, is that they just do really interesting connectings like this. Like this feels exciting and cool. We have this ruined stairwell. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Holy fuck, there's a second one. <laughs> awesome. Uh. Jules says you can tank that when you have abs this big.
Crystal dart. That audio, that... I think is beautiful. All right, so we have a telepuerto. We're all the way over here. So, looks like we went through here and kind of went in the underground area, came out over here. And it looks... Yeah, here, here's the bridge, and here's the garden that we were above, that we were in right there. So we just came along this angle. So we, we're in the underside of this, deep below this. Oh, I would love a 3D map. Love a 3D map of this game. Not gonna look at it till I've beaten the game, but... So this should be the room connecting back to the... Nope. I'm gonna wait until I have located a... Oh. Hey, I have that one. I got fucking gritted. Holy shit. This guy was like a fucking baby. Tell you, that guy's a fucking gamer right there. He's a fucking big gamer. Not gonna lie. Big one. That's because how does it feel, Sean? It feels fair. And I'll never think otherwise. The Twisteroni is now gone. Fucking get the fuck over there! Can I just stand here and avoid getting hurt? That is fucking awesome. My souls. So scared of this guy now. Holy, holy fuck. Oh my god. This guy's a real fucker, man. It's like a real fucking piece of shit. All right. I actually think that it might be better served for me to switch to my longsword. Because that guy does a lot of guard break. I'm not attacking very quickly. Average PvP experience right there. Oh my god, yeah, you're fucking telling me, man. We need to be on the right side for that one. Because we can be on the left side for this one. When it hits, it bounces to the right. Uh, by the way, for any who are giving advice for how to beat this guy, don't. We're having a blast trying to figure him out. We have lots of things that we want to try. Look at the fucking amount of... Am I alive? Okay, no. It surprised me when he actually, um... Got broken when I, when I, when I hit him. Surprised me a good bit. Look how huge this fucking shield is.
The Doug says, you can dodge roll through the corner of the boulder if you time it perfectly. Hope this isn't a spoiler. Again, it, it, it's less it's a spoiler, but we just don't want any back seating, right? Because, again, what you're doing is you're taking my fun away. It is fun to hit this and go, ooh, I need to be on the right side. And then I run to the right side, and I get through. Look at that. That's fun. That's fun that I had a plan. I stuck to the plan. And now I can avoid it like this. It's really awesome. I think that's very enjoyable. Holy shit, this guy is fucking... Oh, come on. That was such a good idea. Fuck. <laughs> Stats are too low for the shield? I don't think that's true. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I forgot about this. Yeah, I, I had my rune arc up before. This has 30 strength. Yeah, I need to buff my strength by two. Oop, this is, this is not what I want. I want the strength one. Because this is what I was doing beforehand. But yeah, I don't have enough strength. Oh, that will still, still do it to me? Cheesing. What? Okay. See, I, I thought I was going to be able to stab him from behind. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, yeah. I thought that he was going to be hitting forward. <laughs> so when he just tracked me, I was like, Whoa! Yeah, so for any of you who are curious uh, what was happening, is that when, um, if you look here, this says strength of 30 is required. And I had equipped this Great Shield, which requires 32 strength. But when I did that, two things were true. One, I had this Star Scourge Heirloom, and I swapped the Scar Scourge Heirloom out for the Assassin's Crimson Dagger, because it's just really good for my healings. And also, I had used this Rune Arc. Which I'm just going to use, because I think we can get on this one. And when you have that combination of things, oops, this, then I actually have the strength required. When I don't have the strength re required, if my enemy hits me, it deals massive stamina damage. <coughs> Stonefruit Supreme says diverse AI makes the game so much better. Very impressive. <clears throat> yeah, you know, I, I, I want to come back to that idea of sensitivity that I was talking about before. I love that this game has really strong sensitivity to all these different kinds of moves and parries and things like this. Where if parrying and stamina breaks and things like this were not really potent and really strong, if the game didn't have huge effects as a result of these types of abilities, the game would be more boring. Right? Like, if you have an AI, for instance, like, let's just make something really simple. Let's imagine there's one that goes swing, swing, swing. And another one that goes swing, swing, swing. The first one has tight gaps between there, but there's still reasonable gaps. The other one has no gap and then a medium to long length gap. 
even though these are virtually identical, the small tuning means a lot because this game's combat makes small things mean a lot. And in that way, I feel like, again, I've played games where there's some AIs that are super aggressive and come at you like this guy does. There's other AIs that are super passive and... Wrong ability. You little fucking asshole. And that's what that feels like. Dude, if he parried me there, I would have been dead. Carrion Knight's Shield. Fuck yeah, what is this one? Shields are my favorite. 15 int. Interesting. Excels in facing magic and holy attacks. What? Just not smart enough to hold up this big goddamn shield. <laughs> Strange Inquiries uh, says, There's a great charm I think you would license for using shields that enhances guard counters. Yeah, I mean, like, it's this one, right? It's this, this guard counter. I, I had this equipped for a little bit, but I'd be happy to hear a little bit more about what you think is interesting. I'm at 40 strength. Because typically, I just like to have this one open. This one, I think, is just really good. And this one is really awesome. So, I just not quite found a, a space for it. What I've asserted is, man, I really, really, really want to get to a point where I'm strong enough, or where I have enough talisman slots to use that one. again, I love that I can do this because so often if I do this charge attack and stab someone, it staggers them. But yeah, Strange Inquiries, I totally agree, but again, this one heals when I crit. This one boosts my stats. So I have to unequip one of them. And if I unequip this one, which would increase the ability to get the guard break, then I wouldn't be getting the heal from the crit. And if I remove this one, this one actually boosts all my stats by a bunch. You can boost all, like, th or four different categories by three each. Which seems stupidly fucking good. I feel like there's a bit of a maze here. So, I mean, if there's a combination that you think is good, I'd be happy to hear it. This is here. Alright, excuse me. How 
which does this reduce the damage negation. Because right now, if I go to my status page, my damage negation values are... Okay, so I have 137, 153, okay? And then if I... Oh, shit. Look at this. Wow, holy shit. What's the difference between 18 and 26? What are those numbers? What does any of this shit fucking mean? What does any of this shit mean? In this case, Ghosty, I actually am quite interested. Hit triangle in this. Huh. I actually don't know what these numbers mean. It's percent reduction from given damage type. Whoa. Dude, but look at this. I get another... I get, like, fucking 120 more health. I mean, look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Excuse me, jerk. God, I love that. I love doing this. Let's go this way first. Let's see what happens. So we are brilliant. And is there a teleporter back this way? Is teleportation free? As far as I know. If it's not, then shit. You're tarnished, aren't you? Oh my I god. Welcome you to the Church of Vows. The Swamp of Sadness. Real. Steward of this sacred chamber, my apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? No. How it came to be known as the church. Look how sick Vows. this turtle is, man. I don't know. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? I love this guy. He's so the sweet. The has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here. At the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. Oh my god, do we get to and go so to the moon? Our church holds in view the <clears throat> monuments of both houses the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Ah, oh, I see Rea Lucaria is the moon. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. You are free to I show yourself around. I will serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. Ah, story of my life. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in... In which case, I will share... I'll, I'll go read about that in a moment. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan? Yeah. Lord Radigan was a great champion, 
possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. Carian. I was going to be Carian. When Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and king consort, taking the title of second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. All right. Grants blessing to self and nearby ally. What does that mean? 24 faith? 24 faith is a fucking lot of faith. Uh, we can ask more. Now, what? What is? What is the scrolls? What is this shit? This info: talismans, legs, arms, chest, head, shields, arrows, bolts, ranged weapons, melee armaments, ashes of war, incantations, sorceries. Key items: Is it in key items? Oh yeah, yeah. We are missing a bunch of shit. Oh, sick. So I can just... Th this is... Is there some... Yeah, dude, I fucking love this turtle, dude. Have this prayer book. Very well. Let us... Heresy is not native to the world. This is awesome. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. <laughs> Guys, all things can be conjoined. Never forget that. Very well. Let us... Heresy is not... All things can... Flintstone Comet Shard. Chance right hand armament with black flame. Oh, this is what we fucking want right here, man. This is what we want right. Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, are you kidding me? I want this shit. What's this? Throws a ball of raging black fire. No, 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 no. Black flame, dude. Yes. Six thousand wounds. All right, this is sick. Now the thing is, we need to go back to the schoolhouse classroom. Any conjoiners in chat says, Who Thor? <laughs> Who Thor? Your ID is fucking incredible! Rarely do I see an ID that is that objectively perfect. Who Thor? Where is this? Who Thor? Oh my god, Who Thor. Bobag says, Sean makes me happy that you bought that. Never seen it, but it sounds dope and I think you'll love it. I think I better. I think I very well may. Can I just say, I think that my most listened to game soundtrack of all time is Stardew Valley by like a considerable margin. I was just listening to that this morning. That is just beautiful. And the choice to make it slightly translucent was very, very clever. Wait, that is that not the great Oh, I see. I'm not facing that direction. So if I face this direction, yeah. Can I get there in time? Oh, it is I, the Divine Turtle. Cannot open from the side. Okay, can I just, like, work my way around and just open it from the other side, then? So, I see. So we'll probably wind up elevating up there somehow and working our way back around again. Yeah, Bastion's a really great soundtrack, too. But 
dude. I, I love, dude. Distant Banjo is like such a fucking smacker of a tracker. Oh! Everyone turn off the stream. <laughs> I hit the forward button and I did not intend to do that. Velrun, write that down. Dun, 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 Oh, shit, I lost my fucking rune arc. Oh, my God. Fuck, man. I don't have enough strength to use this shield anymore. Uh, <laughs> brave Sir Robin, he bravely yeeted himself. And I remember seeing a merchant where I could buy rune arcs from. I don't remember which one it was. Machinarium OST is great. I loved Machinarium. I got stuck on that for like so long. Makes me stand in the windowsill. I just threw my body past just to insult me. Very well. You know. Uh-oh. Alright, there's nothing down there. Dark here. Very dark and very rainy. They're all about the moon over here. Oh, well, sure looks bossy, huh? Cutscene? It's not where I was. Ugh. She's looking at me and she's like, ugh. Well, at least it's bright in here. Hush, little Calva. Ooh, I found my new phrase to say to you! Hush, little Calva. I'll soon birth thee anew. A sweeting, fresh and pure. Holy shit. What the fuck? Holy shit, this fight is insane. Oh my god! Holy shit, this is fucking sick! Look at this shit! Oh, this music is incredible! 
And look at all these little giggly babies that we're stabbing one at a time. And they just want to set stuff on fire and throw lamps at me and shit. Ow, fuck you. Ow, fuck. Stop. Stabby, stab, stab. Ow. He's fucking throwing books at me. Someone's child clearly threw a temper tantrum, and they're like, what if this boss was a bunch of obnoxious babies you have to pick off one at a time? And everyone's like, oh, Miyazaki, and he's like, this is the game. I'm like dodging everyone. Are they coming back? I bet you find this player, huh? I bet you find this fucking player, huh? They're coming back, aren't they? The babies are returning. There's swarms of little babies. Dude, I'm good though. I'm like, I'm like taking these babies out. This is probably not the solution. Look at them. They're everywhere. Okay, this is the game. Time to be born you. Oh, fuck you. You're gonna what are you doing to him? What are you doing? What are we doing here? Holy fuck, they really got fucking born anew, dude. I literally missed, and she's not Oh! This one! No, this one! Stabby, stab. All right, almost there. Figuring it out. We're gamering it. the middle, but I'm just going to take the long way around. Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Bye, babies. Phase two? Phase two of boss fight? Easiest fight of all time. Phase two, I betcha. Phase two, I betcha. Oh, she's got those long arms. Oh, yeah. My beloved. Have no fear. I will hold thee. You got some Bloodborne wet nurse vibes going on here. Ye will be countless born. Forever. 
Uh oh, it's getting inky in here. Someone's charging a move in Street Fighter 4. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. All right. Send word far and wide. Of the last queen of Caria, Renala of the full moon. What? Oh, we're here. The majesty of the night she conjureth. Oh my god. I am Dark Souls. Have a sip. Oh, I am a bad judge of distances. All right. So here's the thing. I, right before I enter this fight, I need to equip strength and I need to switch. I need to equip strength and then switch. Squitchy witchy. All right. So let's actually switch this to strength. Because if I do this, then my red main great shield can be replaced by a cuckoo great shield, which increases my magic negation to 70%. I nearly just walked right off the edge there. You know, th this is just, like, a great example of expectation management gone well. Like, I don't know how many times you've played a game where you get to the boss, and you're like, oh. What about the shield I just got for Magic and Holy? I think it's strictly worse. Right? Like, this is Holy for 54% negation, Magic 58% negation. This is 70 I mean, this Cuckoo Great Shield is an absolute banger. Marin Wiles, this seems like a really long respawn to try again. I mean... <laughs> let me be real with you, Marin Wow. It seems as though you've never played Demon Souls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, the, the way to think about... Uh, the way to think about this is that uh, in Demon Souls, it's one bonfire per zone. Per entire zone. So it would be as though if Raya Lucaria had one bonfire in it. I mean, the game is insane. So let's do the... Let's be kind to future me. That Armored Spider run back. Did I play against the Armored Spider, Stretlaw? I mean, there might be a slightly closer bonfire direction, but not that I am aware of. So let's rebuild stamina. Hello. Oh, that's right.
fight is beautiful. Ugh. Pop off real fast. Where are you at? There she is. Oops. That's my issue. So I don't know if this causes the flyers to land. Dude, and I love the... God, was it Godric or Godfrey the Grafted? Which one was that? Fucking insanely high damage. Oh, it's like a fucking ridiculously high amount of damage. So I haven't gone this way. I genuinely wonder if there's actually a different path to to go. I genuinely wonder if like there's a way to open the, the door from the other side. Don't don't spoil, don't tell me. So for instance, this cannot open from this side. And see, when we when we look at the interconnections, right, so we can connect from here to here, and this comes over here, and this comes into here, but, like, we haven't explored any of this. We haven't explored any of this area. See something. Yeah, I mean, it's a nearby uh, stake of Marika. Yeah, I mean, like, the... Because, I mean, like, I can go a little bit down this way, right? There's a big crabby boy here. Oh, shit. Camera souls. Yeah, see, like, I explored down this way. All right, thanks for your crab eggs. Appreciate those crab eggs. Is there an entrance over here that I maybe overlooked? No, 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 no. Sec. 
See, like this doesn't open from this side, which is why I'm... Is there a thing back here? No. area over here. It, fe it feels like I have not fully explored this area yet. Because, I mean, like, very clearly, we, we, we entered in through here, we went this way, and then we kind of curled our way up here, but there's tons of doors and gates and passages that... I feel like I haven't explored them yet. Like... I want to see something. So, if we're here and... And by the way, I am speaking rhetorically because I am a content creator. It is a content creator. You constantly narrate what you're thinking, what you're doing. I super duper do not want any spoilers or any assistance in this sort of way. Because if I'm like, huh, I wonder how to get there. What I'm not saying is, tell me how to go there. Unless I'm like, hey everyone. Please instruct me on how to get from A to B. Nowhere to land. At least not easily. It's, it's plausible that I missed something up here. But I don't really see that. And then there's this collapsed section. We get some casty babies. Oops. I think the other entrance is like over here. Yeah. I checked this area. But I think that what I did is I... I think I jumped down to here and went, oh, there's nothing here. Oh, shit, little crab. Got our little glintstone crown. Oh, hey. Yep. I see. I see what my brain did. Terrific. Yeah, because I was wondering why this this thing would open up if it was just a root back. Nice. Really nice. Whoops. All right, one more time, everyone. One more time. Ah, just row of fruit. Because what I suspect can happen is that I can do another whole circuit through the second half of Raya Lucaria and get a second run. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Alright, that is where we go to die. And so now we are in this adjoining part on the outside edge. Ah, 
I love this combination. Who the fuck is shooting me? That guy. Perfect. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh my god, our gamer intuitions are all coming true. Oh my gosh, so probably this will... Because, I mean, the, the, the game was posing all of these questions, right? Like, hey, you see this? You see this door? Can't open it from this side? You see that? You see this? You can't open it from this side? You see that? Let's keep adding doors that you can't open from this side. Let's keep adding those. And then it actually created a smooth run to the boss. We're about to take fucking bleed damage. I don't want to bleed. Oh, fuck. Give me a break, me a break video game. Oh, oh! Jesus! Most the scariest enemies in Dark Souls is two of them. Those little mechanical wings are busted. Oh, shit. That's so fucking sick. Jacob Hall says, I wonder which class the Academy teaches you. Yeah, just fucking headbutt him. I know, right? Use the power of your head. Is that an open window there? That's no, a closed window. This game isn't that cruel. Meteor Bolt. Dude, I mean, look Look at how fucking cool this is. You know what I mean? Like, this is just so unbelievably sick. Like, this is just really inventive. Headbutt scales with Ant. <laughs> oh, yeah, who Thor? It also makes sense as to why these things are spread apart. As in, like, it makes sense as to why there's these gaps where it's just, like, a giant abyss. Because they wanted to have this rooftop exploration be a key part of the gameplay. Okay, which way to go? Right, so here, here appears to be the first... Dude, the arrow sticking at you is so good. Sean playing in offline mode. I am trademark Griff. I have no interest in paying for PlayStation Plus. All right, so that is that is an avenue to head down. That is an avenue to head down.
Golden Rune Ford. All right, so... So, I mean, we yeah, we are actually finally able to journey over here. So, yeah, we actually took this... This map actually had a little hint here that these are connected this way. And it never occurred to me to look at the maps for hints. So we can go that way. There's a ladder here. Whole fucking imbued sword key. Oh my god, we can open up another teleporter at the four belfries. Yes. Smithing stone three is kind of exactly what we're hoping to get. Look at the ladder down this way. Jesus. Platforming in Dark Souls? Who to thunk? Who to thunk? Down the hatch. So I'm going to do this one first, because I can reverse, right? I can climb back up. Oh, that was actually an incredibly risky roll, huh? Can't look up much higher than that. Am I the only person that also cranes their heads? Like this. Whew. Also, I gotta use a restroom. I really gotta use a restroom. So we're gonna take ourselves a little tiny bio breaky. Light on the other edge of this wall, and then we're gonna jump across.